I kind of made the um, intellectual decision to write music inspired by these paintings after I had seen them and kind of processed what they were about. I decided to make each movement a painting because having the five paintings as movements just seemed like a very clear way to sort of reflect the structure that Thomas Cole had created. When I sat down to actually compose each movement, I sort of looked at each painting as an individual and responded to the colors, the composition, the kind of movement that was depicted in each painting, like flowing shapes or you know, bold colors or bold light and shadow and things like that, and took those as cues to interpret in a kind of metaphorical sense in music. And at the same time, I took the narrative content of the paintings as cues for the musical style in each of the paintings, as well as the sort of emotional tone. With the savage state, uh, the image is very bold and there's lots of light and darks and there's lots of billowing clouds and I wanted something that felt very flowing and undulating and kind of uh, primordial because it's like this prehistoric uh, imagery. Consummation has a sort of martial pompous quality, so I wanted the music to have that kind of like marching a Baroque music feeling that's very, very different from the sort of loose texture of the savage state. Uh, the idea that there would be a shift at a certain point in time doesn't really relate to the paintings. Um, that's just sort of a musical decision. I tried to create a sense of movement and segues from one painting to another to sort of prepare you for the next painting. At the end of consummation, uh, the music sort of gets a little bit more frenzied and anxious and kind of starts unraveling and losing its balance, which kind of segues into the chaos of destruction. Mm -hmm.